Concrete is a hard material, but not when it's freshly mixed. And at that time you can pump it like a liquid. But what you do need is a concrete pump. And for this review we're looking at NZG's model of the Chifa K47H truck mounted concrete pump. If you're paying attention you will have seen it comes in a branded box. And inside that are the usual trays and they're factory sealed. Up comes the giant hand crane to lift out the model. And there are also a couple of bags containing some parts. The model is very well protected in the box with soft plastic sheets. But the flip side is it does make it a little bit fiddly to unpack it. Included with the model is a hopper lid and some pins. And perhaps the smallest instruction sheet ever included with a model. And it's about the pins. Well there's certainly not much to do in terms of assembly but we do have to fit the hopper lid. And it's slightly awkward to locate the pins on the lids into the holes. Spreader plates are included and they can be put in holders on each side. This model has a good looking chassis and it's all modelled in metal. And that includes the drive shaft and suspension components. Also modelled are various tanks and the exhaust system. The cab is a plain white Arox, but it's got robust detailing by NZG including aerials on the roof, and the Mercedes-Benz logo and Arox grille is convincing, and there's also a dummy number plate for this generic model. A nice touch on the cab is the see-through roof light, and there's also a see-through window in the rear of the cab. The cab is plain but there are tiny graphics which add to the detail. And there are also sharp Chifa K47H graphics. The outriggers have got smart chevrons. And the front wheels have got nice detailing. Other parts such as the protection bars are modelled in metal. The rear wheels are nice as are the graphics on the big rear outriggers. Moving to the back there are painted light clusters. And paint is used to highlight other details. The sections of the placing boom are metal, with the silver sections representing the carbon fibre of the real machine. Other parts such as the pipes and hoses are plastic, but the good news is that the colour match of the plastic parts is spot on. On the carrier deck the various pump components are modelled, there's a grill inside the hopper and nice walkway surfaces. In terms of functionality we have linked steering on the front two axles and it achieves a moderate angle. This is an NZG model with a high metal content so it's relatively heavy and that helps the model roll very well. And here you can see the achievable steering angle. One tiny feature is that there's a fold down step at the back and if you don't like that you can fold it back up again. To set up we'll use the express method to get the pads out. And then we can pull out the outriggers which at the front are two stage with the inner stage being plastic. And at the rear the big pull out outrigger is metal. The pads screw down in the usual way but you do end up seeing screw threads. But it's good that the model comes with spreader pads included. Next we move on to erection. And with some hand action the boom raises smoothly. The boom rams are reasonably stiff and they will hold many poses. And the unfolding of the boom sections works well. So overall you can get some realistic poses. In fact as you see here the model becomes quite large when you fully unfold the boom. Also nice on the review model at least is how the hose is hanging down realistically. Included with the model are some small steel pins. And you can use these to pin the rams at maximum extension. And that will stop the model bleeding down over time. Moving to the hopper and the lid can be reset in an open position. But it would have been nicer if it had been properly hinged. Inside the hopper though the grill is nicely hinged. The other thing you can do with the boom is to rotate it into any position. And that works nicely on the model. This model by NZG is a reworking of the K45H, but it's really a cosmetic upgrade with new graphics rather than a new model. It is a high quality model with nice details and features that work well, 
and it poses well with a truck mixer model. So if you want a concrete pump model, this one is very good. Thank you.